Roman Reigns defeating Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania was always the plan. Dana White says Endeavor can take WWE to another level. And more. Turns out that Roman Reigns defeating Cody Rhodes and retaining his undisputed WWE Universal Championship at WrestleMania was not a late decision. In the new edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer noted that Reigns defeating Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 39 was always the plan. Saying, Reigns winning was always the plan, although it was kept secret and almost nobody knew. Reigns defeated Rhodes in the main event of WrestleMania 39 Night 2 this past Sunday. The finish of the match involved interference by Solo Sokoa as Rhodes was on the verge of ending Reigns' run as champion. Sokoa gave Rhodes a Samoan spike while Paul Heyman had the referee distracted. Reigns then got the victory after giving Rhodes a spear. And in a recent interview that Paul Heyman did with Ariel Helwani, he said that he actually believes that Cody Rhodes losing to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania makes Cody Rhodes a bigger star than he was before. Meltzer also noted on the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that Roman Reigns isn't expected to wrestle at WWE's Backlash pay-per-view in San Juan, Puerto Puerto Rico on Saturday, May 6. Writing, Reigns will not be on the San Juan card, or at least that wasn't the plan on Monday, but he will be doing other major events over the next few months. And speaking of WrestleMania, Logan Paul recently spoke about his match against Seth Rollins on his Impulsive podcast. Logan Paul said that his biggest blessing of them all was coming out of the match unscathed. He did hit his head a little bit and his vision went blurry, but that all these things happen and it wasn't a concussion. He also added, You all have no idea the intricacies that go into these matches. It's seriously the hardest thing I've ever done. He then evaluated his own performance against Seth Rollins, saying, quote, I thought beforehand for sure it was going to be my best match, and then afterwards, I just didn't feel like that. I felt like it was good, it was on par, it wasn't a level down, but I noticed it's getting harder and harder every time to make these matches is better. When I'm picking an opponent and I'm at the bottom of this mountain trying to build what I want to be an amazing entertaining matchman, these mountains are getting higher and higher and it's terrifying and incredibly complicated. I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing this and upping the bar every time. That's my challenge in this, but it's so much fun because I'm gonna have to get more creative, I'm gonna have to go a little harder. And a new WWE documentary is in the works. John Cena is set to produce and appear in WWE Recruits for the Roku channel, according to The Hollywood Reporter. The eight-episode series will focus on young athletes in WWE's developmental system as they chase their dream of becoming a WWE superstar. Filming has already begun with some content produced this weekend during WrestleMania. Paul Triple H Levesque, Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels, and Bianca Belair are all confirmed to appear. Dana White says Endeavor CEO Ari Emanuel helped UFC get to another level and he can do the same for WWE. Endeavor purchased UFC in 2016 for $4.2 billion. According to a CNBC report earlier this month, the company now has enterprise value of $12 billion. Dana White, who owned 9% of the company at the time of the sale, remained on as UFC president and says he only has positive and credible things to say about working with Endeavor. He appeared on the Pat McAfee show today and was asked about the WWE and UFC merger. Dana White said one of the great things about working with Ari Emanuel is that he lets you run your business and he lets you do what you want to do. He also revealed that he met with the McMahons the last time he was in New York and told them what working with Emanuel was like and that he only had positive things to say. Ari Emanuel will serve as the chief executive of the new company created through the WWE and UFC merger. Dana White doesn't believe the merger will impact the UFC at all, but will be beneficial for WWE. Saying, quote, how this is going to affect our company, it won't at all. We're going to keep doing what we do. How it affects WWE is that I think there is a lot of value that Ari can add to the business side, whether it's licensing, sponsorship, and the list goes on and on. He'll help grow those different areas of their business. They're valued at $9 billion. Watch and see what they are in five years. That's it for today. Go ahead and share your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll catch you on the next episode of The Latest. And if you guys want to check out my most recent episode of my podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling, where I discuss 
AEW Dynamite, go ahead and click on the screen.